Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your favorite gentleman, Summer Guy. Listen, we still doing fragrance reviews. We still doing them. It's a lot on my mind, and it's a lot on yours, too. Y'all know what's going on out there? I've been telling y'all to pray, man, but we're going to get into that later, man. The fragrance review tonight, man, is from the House of Argo. Shout out to Christian Petrovich. Uh, man, listen, today here in Indiana, it was around 63, 64, 65-ish, and then it climbed up to like 74 or whatever. And I put this on, Basial Immortal, right? This right here is unique, leather, fruity, spicy. This is very, it's a unisex. It, it does go off as a unisex fragrance. Reason being, because of the notes. Let's read, shall we? Now, listen, the top notes are this, all right? We got bergamot, lemon, pepper, raspberry, violet, jasmine, leather, pink peppercorn, musk, leather, oud, birch, vanilla, right? Now, uh, I like the attention to detail, and um, these are dedicated to Greek gods, right? You know, if you're strong in your faith, you can get past a lot of that, man. We we know there's a lot of mythology, but but let's read, shall we? Represented by the Roman god Cupid, okay? Uh, Greek Eros and the Greek god is Psyche, okay? So it's unisex because it's dedicated to Psyche and Cupid. It tells like a love story or whatever. So I'm not going to read all of this because I ain't trying to really bore y'all. Oh, I want to really go into the... Uh, heart of the matter it says the ore that is enchantingly sensual scent carries is timeless argos basial and martel is royal fragrance with perfectly blended elegant citrus and smoky oud notes a divine fragrance with accents of violet whispers of jasmine so violet and jasmine it's, it's floral okay that's what makes it unisex and then sweet raspberry that 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 note does pop with the lemon and the bergamot and then it has decadent leather and deep birch wood that are powerful and romantic, okay? And it really is, y'all. I put this on today. Um, I probably got a good wash for about at least seven to eight hours, real talk. And I, don't, I know I went nose blind because I didn't hit the armpits, the shoulders, the back of the neck, all of that, man. I was smelling marvelous today. And let's open this up. We're already opened it up. This is the bottle right here, y'all, if y'all can see that. Previous video, man, my uh, lighting was going back and forth. I like the purple and the yellow over there. That yellow is just natural light. But yeah, look at that juice on here. Let's give it a blast, shall we? Hulk Hogan. Raspberry. You smell the lemon. Ooh, that, yeah. Ooh, this is nice. Spicy. Yeah. Ooh, this eight out of 10. This is a better blend than Tom Ford's Tuscan leather, in my opinion. Now, most people be like, oh, that's blasphemous. Not necessarily, man. We got to quit being label whores, man. Argos is so slept on people. Matter of fact, man, this is an eight out of 10. This is nine out of 10. I'll give it a nine out of 10. This is nice. Spray this on the top of the wrist real quick. This is nice. Now, me personally, I can rock this pretty much all year round just because of the uh, the citrus notes, right? The bergamot and the lemon are really jumping off on my skin. The raspberry too. Yeah, this is nice. Definitely leather jacket, cashmere sweater. You rocked at the church, dinner, brunch. Yeah, hang out, with, uh, whatever. You put this one on. This is, a, this, this is definitely... This, uh, this is nice. That's all I can really say about this one. Very nice. Very, very nice. Now, this really might not be for everybody. I don't know about your skin chemistry, whether you run hot, whether you run cold. Um, depending on how hot or cold you run or your body odor, right? If you, you know, you got a strong body odor, that might not be for you around certain seasons, to be honest with you. But me, I run, I run hot though, but I don't, I'm not really strong in the odor area like that. You're not really going to smell me, smell me like that. So this right here for me, for my skin, this right here is all year round. 
I picked this up and rocked this all year around. That's just for me. It might not be for you in essence. Um, it just depends on your body odor, your skin chemistry. If you run hot or cold, this might be an occasional scent for you, honestly. And that's not knocking you. That's just, you know, your DNA, you know, pheromones, all that stuff plays a part. Again, running hot or cold. So certain fragrances might work for you. But for me, that's all year around. I can put that on. And I mean, I work out in that. Not work out, but I'll go to work in this as I did. Check out that thumbnail right there or the video. Like I said, I rocked this earlier. Beautiful, right? I went nose blind. This is it for me. Like I said, 9 out of 10. Basiaia Martel. This is a banger, y'all. P color, right? Urine color. That's funny. <laughs> that is, though. One more blast, too. Now, that Triumph of Bacchus, when I sprayed that, man, that, whew, that was a better cloud. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, this is it, y'all. For me, 9 out of 10, I can rock this year around, especially be here in the Midwest. Weather just, it, it just, it's up and down right now, people. This is it, y'all. I would pick this up. Don't have a villain to really dedicate this one to. This is just a gentleman's fragrance, in my opinion. Unisex, yeah, but the, the peppercorn and all that definitely makes it spicy. I see why, but that's masculine to me, right? Suited and booted, of course, when you put that on. Um, no gym clothes or nothing like that, y'all. Make sure you're going somewhere when you put that one on, honestly. This is really grab and go for me because of my lifestyle and how I dress. Maybe for you, maybe not, right? That might be something you pull out when you go out, basically. But it's not bad to have in the repertoire, honestly, right? So listen, I'm going to bring this video for the fragrances on to an end because it's a lot on our minds right now, y'all. As I'm recording this, man, this October 1st, Going into the second, I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to let y'all in on a little secret. Come here, man. I'm, I'm I'm about to go to the store, maybe to the gas station, man, because we out of milk. And them, and them docks then closed down, man. I'm like, what are we doing? It's the wrong people in position in life, man. That's why I be telling y'all, man, listen, pray for your nation. Pray for your country. Pray for the world in general. You understand? You know, a lot of, listen, a lot of things are coming to fruition. Hold on. You know, I got to grab the sword. I got to go grab that word. Forgive me on the noise real quick, y'all. But y'all can, y'all can handle this real quick. Shout out y'all for watching the videos, hitting that like button and that subscribe. Yeah. Shout out to my, uh, my, my wife's uh, grandfather, Kessler Pitt, who passed. This is his Bible, y'all. I got this in the collection, man. Shout out there. I think his name is there. One of the kids probably didn't wrote on it. No, his name's not in this one. This old school Bible, though. But I'm pulling this out so we don't fill an open book test because a lot of things are coming to fruition, y'all. And I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. I'm over here. Like, do y'all remember hearing people that went on vacation to Hawaii and they'd be like, yo, man, milk costs like $10 out there or seven at the time back in the day. And we was like, for real? Milk was like a buck and some change at the time. Now milk high, like everything high, you know what I mean? And with that, with the dock workers and them leaving the little shore workers and then the hurricanes and the bridge and all of that, that's going to go up even higher. I told the Lord, I said, listen, if it go down, take us out with the first wave. I'm going to just be real. My wife and them, they bougie in there, man. They're not going to survive out there. We don't even know what berries to pick. You know what I mean? <laughs> we don't know what mushrooms to eat. We don't know how to, uh, get, you know, we, don't, we can't go out and just drink the water. You know what I mean? Yeah, go ahead and get us out there, man. I'm talking about, I'm going to just sit outside in the lawn chair, man. You know, be like, look, we'll be in heaven in, you know, 0 0.1 second. You know what I mean? Good grief. But it's a marvelous time to be alive, y'all. Listen, if you do not know the Lord, this is why I wear this pen right here, y'all. Most people be like, man, why you got the pen on this? Or that's pretty creative. Yeah, that's Christ alone, man. Straight up. This is the parachute that you, you need to put this parachute on when you jump out the plane. Because it's going to work every time. Yahweh's real. Put on Christ, please. All of y'all, man. You're not going to win no debate. In the argument, man. You've been to plenty of funerals. Somebody put the furniture in the universe. 
and he's been consistent and they can't really debunk the Lord. Yo, go read the book of Acts, man, where they had that miscellaneous guy like in that corner that they was praying to. Go read, please go read the book of Acts on that one, y'all. So listen, um, if you are in the Fort Wayne area, right, for the time being, and you're trying to get in shape, you got a student athlete, right? It don't matter the sport. Before you pick up a weight, hit up my brother, Jay Collins, Josh Collins, that is. Know the why behind the why, because you don't want to walk walk around looking like the, le the capital letter Y. You all bulky and stuff, man, and all, no. Let's get you together the proper way. You understand? So thank y'all for watching these videos. Listen, somebody told me earlier, it's like, hey, man, it might be time to put them fragrances up, man, to pick up them bullets. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, we got that too. You understand? You, hey, listen, I'm not playing uh, Home Alone and boxing. You come up in here, man. We we playing Fortnite. You know, we, we playing uh, Call of Duty at that point. We, we might play Home Alone, man. I got some booby traps. You know what I mean? But... I'm I'm jiving, but I'm serious, though, you know, and shout out to the Lord, man, and the sovereignty for the crib, because I'm that third pig in Little Red Riding Hood. We brick house over here. So, you know, but I'm going to quit yapping. But it's serious, man. I've been telling y'all. I got video right here, man. I told y'all what the gentleman's POV earlier this year. It's showtime, folk. Pick a side. That's all I'm saying, man. Until next time, I'm your favorite gentleman somewhere down there. Toodles.